Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a full tutorial on a program called VRammer in order to gain back some performance while maintaining the visual quality of our Skyrim mod list. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what VRammer is, VRammer is a tool that you can download from Nexus. It's a tool that we can run that produces an output that essentially tries to gain back some of your VRAM. And that's one of the biggest contributing factors when it comes to performance dips with these Skyrim mod lists is the VRAM usage. So I'm gonna be showing you guys an entire guide on how to install this into any mod list into Mod Organizer 2 in order to gain back some of that performance. And just a quick disclaimer, use VRammer at your own risk. You can risk messing up your mod list for starters if you don't use the tool right. And secondly, there may be some mod list authors that don't fully support using this tool. So if you're trying to get support in a Discord forum on something, Typically, you only want to ask for support if you have installed the mod list in its vanilla state. All right, so here we are in Nolvis 6.0. I'm on the latest beta update. This is 6.0.13, and I am using the ultimate profile that is recommended for a 4090 at 4K. My system is a 4080 Super with a 9800X3D. So I try to run these at 4K and that's where I can push my system to the absolute max because I'm running these at 4K on a essentially an unsupported profile for my graphics card. And that is because my graphics card does not have enough VRAM. It only has 16 gigs of VRAM and you can see in the top left corner that I'm using 15.5 out of my 16 gigs of VRAM. And we're getting about 50 FPS. So the goal here is to try to get 60 FPS. So right now, like I said, we're running about 50 and I have my frame rate completely uncapped. So if I look at the sky here, you can see we're getting almost like 100. And then walking back through the town here, you know, this, it's not like it's unplayable or anything. But oh, what's going on here? But anyway, walking back through the town here, I'm getting about like 50 FPS. And when I walk through the town in this direction, it's always about like 50 FPS. So what we're trying to do today, we're going to try to use the VRammer tool in order to see if we can get back that extra performance in order to run this at a smooth 60 FPS. All right, so here we are on the VRammer Nexus mod page. I'll link this in the description below so you guys can easily get to it. But we're just going to go ahead and go to the files tab here. And we are going to download the latest version. So this one here. I'm just going to do a manual download for this one. And I'm going to put this on the same drive that I have all my mods on. And I'm going to make a new folder for it. So VRammer. All right, I'm going to go find where the download is. Extract the files. I'm going to go ahead and just extract those two folders and put that here. So from the Nolvis dashboard here, I'm going to hit this play icon. That's going to bring up Mod Organizer 2. And once all the files are loaded in, we can go ahead and make a new instance for VRammer. So over here with this little drop down, I'm going to go ahead and hit this edit button. And I'm going to say add an executable here, add from file. And then we're going to go ahead and find where we downloaded VRammer. So in my case, it is in this folder here and we want to click on this .bat file. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to check force load libraries and use applications icon for desktop shortcut. Hit apply, hit okay. All right, so now that we've got VRammer all set up, we can go ahead and click on it here, VRammer. Then we're gonna hit this run. And it's gonna run the VRammer GUI for us. And the first thing here, it's already found our Skyrim installation in our Steam library. However, this is not the version that we want to modify because we are using a mod list. We want to keep those files vanilla, but we can install multiple mod lists and keep that as our vanilla copy. Because the cool thing about both Wabajack and the Nolvis installer is it actually makes a copy of the stock game files so that it can make modifications to those files without messing with other mod lists. So in this case, we're going to want to find where the stock game files are for Nolvis. So I'm going to select two and it's going to bring up a browse folder here. I'm going to go to my gaming mod drive is the E drive for me. And then I have my Nolvis installation installed here in Nolvis instances, Nolvis awakening, 
and then stock game. And that's where the stock game files are copied for Nulvis. Now for a Wabajack installation, I'll show you guys where that would be. If I go to my Wabajack mods here and let's just use Lorem 4.0 as an example. Lorem 4.0 folder. So this is the folder that I installed it to from Wabajack. And right here, it says the same thing, stock game. So it'll be in that folder there to find your stock game files. But in my case, we're doing Nalvis today. So I'm gonna click on this folder here for the stock game and click OK. This will pop up if you've ever ran VRammer before. So you can either delete or rename. In this case, I'm gonna do rename for R. Now you can pick your quality presets. So there's high quality, quality, optimum, performance, and vanilla. And it kind of goes through and tells you what each of these profiles do. And it gives you a little description here as well on the left side. So this one here, it says best for balance of quality and VRAM savings. So that's the quality mode. I think we're going to just stick with quality and see what happens here. So I hit Q. It's now calculating how much initial storage requirements it's going to need because what it's going to be doing, it's going to be analyzing all of your mods and then it's going to make an output within one of the folders that you specified. And then later on in the video, I'll show you guys how to add that into our mod list. OK, and this says it needs at least 192 gigs of space. However, when I've ran this before, it only really used about 28. It also can take a little while. So I would make sure to allocate at least an hour. Sometimes it can take longer, up to three hours, but probably about an hour to do the entire analysis and then the entire rebuild of all the mods that it's trying to gain back that VRAM. So this will pop up here. It's going to ask you where you want the output to be. So in my case, I'm going to go back to my VRAM folder from my E drive. And since I want to use this on multiple different mod lists, I'm going to do make a new folder. I'm just call this mod lists. And then within this folder, I'm going to make another new folder and just call it Nulvis. Oh, this one is specific to Nulvis. That way we can use this tool and keep it in the same location for multiple different mod lists. So I'm going to click OK. And then it was not able to, it looks like, detect where the profile folder was for Nulvis. So we're going to have to specify for that as well. So in my case, same thing, we're going back to E drive, going back to the Nalvis folder under instances, Nalvis awakening, and then the mods folder, profiles, and then Nalvis awakening here. And then if we're doing this for a Wabajack mod list, same thing, go ahead and find where you installed those mods to. In my case, let's go look at lore room 4.0 again. And then Lorem 4.0 has a profiles folder here. And then within that profiles folder, there's a default and then an ultra. So in my case, I use the ultra profile. So I click on that folder if I want to do it with Lorem. But since we're doing Nulvis today, we're going to go back to this folder here, profiles and then Nulvis awakening, and then hit OK. All right, so now that it successfully knows where the mod list text file is, it can figure out which mods it needs to analyze, extract, and then create a new output. So like I said, this can take a little while, so we're gonna let it do its thing, and then we're gonna come back when it's complete. All right, we back in. So if everything was successful, you should see a window like this, where it says VRammer has finished. Put the drag and drop this folder into mod manager folder located in this location into your mod manager. So we can go ahead and just press any key here to continue. Should exit out of VRammer and then it'll start reloading the mod list here. And the next thing we want to do, I want to go ahead and put this into split screen so you guys can easily see what's going on. But we want to go navigate to that output folder that we set. So in my case, it is VRammer, mod list, Nulvis, VRammer, and then here's that folder, the drag and drop this folder into Mod Manager. So we're going to go ahead and do so, and we want to make sure that this is at the bottom of our load order. So I'm going to put it in this very last category here. It really doesn't matter if it's in this category as long as it's at the bottom. So go ahead and do this. 
And it's going to ask you if you want to rename it. In my case, I am going to rename it just to VRammer. Say OK. It's going to take a little while to import that mod. Just be patient. All right, so it's successfully imported here. And then the last thing we need to do is just check this box to activate the mod. This can also take a little while. So just let the program do its thing for a second. Be patient. All right, there it goes. And if you're highlighted over VRammer, you should see this lightning bolt with the plus here. And then these are all the mods that it changed. You can go ahead and look at what it's modified. It's all the ones in green here are the ones that changed. And then the last thing we want to do, we can test this performance. We're going to put this back on Nolvis and then hit this run button and see what kind of performance gains we get. All right, we're back in game. And as you can see, we are now breaching 60 FPS. And I can barely even tell any difference. Like this still looks absolutely awesome to me. And you can see in the top left that our VRAM usage has lowered. So we went from 15.5 now down to 13.2. So let's go ahead and check over Riverwood where that water was. Whoa, what's going on here? One hit kill. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go ahead and look over this bridge into Riverwood again and see what kind of performance we're getting. Yep, and now we are almost hitting a perfect 60 FPS with my system at 4K with a 4080 Super with the ultimate profile in Nolvis. So if we go ahead and go back down this way, where we earlier were getting about like 50 FPS, we are now getting almost 60, dipping down sometimes to 57, 59, but pretty close to 60 FPS now, which is just absolutely awesome a lot of like witches around here what's going on anyway let's go ahead and check out white run just to see what kind of performance we're getting there i know originally i was i think i was getting about like 55 fps all right and here we are in white run and yeah now we're getting almost 10 fps takes, higher we must have more swords for but once swords. again right near that 60 fps mark is which is what we're trying to go for this whole time it's just trying to get our system to be a 60 fps at 4k with the graphics card that i have so if you guys are running this mod list at 1440p with a lower end system this is going to help you out immensely with this mod list because this mod list is just crazy to run Actually, I'm getting almost 70 coming up through here. Like, that's just absolutely crazy. And really quick, let's go ahead and check out an interior. We're going to go and check out Arcadia's shop because she has a really cool shop in Nolvis. All right, and here we are in Arcadia's shop. And yeah, we're getting up to like 70, 75, depending on where we're looking. I really like this shop. It is such... A cool Arcadia's. She's got like a full basement and everything. In terms of uh, interiors, I think Nolvis is probably one of the coolest ones that you can download and install. There's her assistant. Yeah, it's just a really cool shop. And some people have told me, oh, it's too much. And I'm like, well, <laughs> okay. I, I, I would rather it be too much than too little, personally. And I think this is really cool. So yeah, you can see the performance is sometimes... Whoa, what's going on? She's like, not letting me go by. This this happens all the time. These stairways are kind of tough because they're like one person stairs. But yeah, we're getting about like 75 to 80. Let's check out the upstairs area. Yep, same thing, about 78 FPS. So it just really helps with the performance. Whoa just like teleported there so yeah it really just helps with the performance and that'll conclude this video if you guys have any questions on how to install this tool or you have any issues let me know down in the comments below 
I like to review a lot of mod lists. I do a lot of PC performance optimization guides. Stuff to get a little bit more performance out of your system, things like that. So if any of that interests you, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.